is at Luxus Hills today and we are going to take you through a corner terrace with a land size of 2,160 square feet and an estimated build up of 3,900 square feet and most importantly it's one kilometer from Rosai School. Hi my name is Kay. Hi I'm Edmund, let's go check it out. Starting off the home tour, here we are at the car porch of this unit. As you can see, the car porch is really spacious, so you can easily fit two to three large cars. On my right, you can see that the owners have installed 13 panels of cabinetry spaces and there's a little sitting corner for you to sit down to wear your shoes when you go to work or when you come home. So to my left, there's this little gardening area and I feel that it adds a very nice touch to the whole car porch area. And as you can see, the owners have planted really nice plants and fun fact, this is actually a 20-year-old Luo Han Song and you can see that it's very nicely growing out. What you see here is actually a very nice feature that has been added to the unit. It's about a 40 meter lap pool and the width is about 1.7. Not a lot of units in Luxus Hills have this feature and I think it's a very nice addition to the unit as you can just go in to have a dip in the pool anytime you like or especially on a hot day like today. Entering into the living room, to my right, we have a row of storages installed for you, a 65-inch television, and even the karaoke set. If you need a bigger screen, we even have the 100-inch projector installed just for you. Speakers are all properly done up to maximize your cinematic experience. And to my left, we have a four-seater sofa. If you want, you can replace it with an L-shaped sofa, a massage chair, and a few bean bags around this area so that you can host your family and friends over for movie time or karaoke session. Some of you may find this unit very familiar. You're right, this is the origin of Luxus Hill Avenue. This unit is used as a show flat. As you know, developer Bukit Sambang will always use the best unit to showcase to home buyers out there. The owner had bought this unit at a premium entry price, which you do not want to miss. Welcome to the dining area. To my left, we have an eight-seater dining table. But if you want, you can replace it with an extendable table that can host up to 10 to 12 people, not a problem. And to my right, we have a full-length glass mirror, which makes the whole living area bigger and brighter. And right behind the full-length mirror, we have storage space for you to store your belongings and accessories. Welcome to the dry kitchen. We have the induction stove, built-in oven, the wine chiller, all the fits and finishes are by brands made in France, very good quality. And to my left, we have ample of space to fit in a big two-door fridge. And to my right, under the island countertop, we have additional storage space for you to store your utensils, pots and pans. Room. And to my right, we have two full glass panels and it actually acts as a storage space for you to keep your belongings. And to my right, we have the queen size Murphy bed that is tucked in nicely for you and it seamlessly blends in with the cabinetry itself. Welcome to the wet kitchen. We have the utility room which is currently used as a helper's room. As you can see at the utility room, there's ample of space for you to fit in a double decker bed if you have two helpers. So further now, we have the helper's washroom which the owner has reconfigured it into a storage room but if you want to reinstate it you can do so as well and further down we have the coffee machine so if you want you can replace it with a bigger one like what the owner has done up and right on top we have multiple storage space for you to store your groceries entering the backyard the owner has installed an induction cooker for heavy cooking as all of them are made from Bosch and Mayer they also replaced the towels and also the owner has added the back gate for easy access to the common area to the second floor. The second floor consists of a common room with an ensuite bathroom and a master bedroom that comes with an ensuite bathroom as well. Let's check out the common room. So the common room right now is currently used as a kids playroom and as you can see at the back there is balconies and also small storage space behind. Stepping out of the first common room, we have the personal working area over here and let's go check out the master bedroom. Walking into the master bedroom, even after fitting a king size bed, you can see that how spacious this area is. On my right, we have four big panels, wardrobe, which can store your clothes in it. So moving on to this area, we have the chill area. What I really like about this is that you are able to maneuver the television to your own likings 
and you can just chill around this area and watch your favorite Netflix. And to my right, we have two big panels of wardrobe where you can store your clothes. The master bedroom also comes with a very huge balcony where you can enjoy the greeneries and the views during your off day. Coming up to the third floor, we have two rooms on this level as well as a very cosy family corner. This family corner has actually been extended out by the owners. It used to be an outdoor balcony. So now that they have this whole space enclosed, I think it's actually a very smart and efficient use of space. Another option that you can have is to put in a pool table over here where you can entertain and host your guests. So now let's check out the first room of this floor. Here we are in the first room, so you can see that the owners have installed a super single over here with a built-in study table and cabinet space, so it's actually a very well-sized bedroom and if you want to reconfigure this to put in a queen-size bed, it's possible. You can put a queen-size bed over here and you can put your cabinets here as well. So this room comes with an ensuite bathroom and I think it's very decently sized. So now let's check out the second bedroom. Entering the second room of this level, we can see to my right, the owners have installed this cabinet that's flushed into the wall so it doesn't eat into the space of this room. And on my left, there's the ensuite bathroom. So and moving further into the room, you can see that the owners now have put a queen size bed over here. So the space here is really good. You can put a king size bed if you want and decently fit in two side tables. And to my right, you can see that same as the first room, the owners have installed a study area here with cabinetry spaces. Last but not least, we are at the rooftop of this unit, which is the highest floor. And this is actually the alfresco area where you have a little nice outdoor seating area as well as a high table with high chairs where you can sit here, enjoy the outdoor breeze, have a cup of tea or a wine and enjoy the views. So where I'm standing right here is at the peak of Luxus Hills because behind me is a downward slope. So you actually have one of the best views of Luxus Hills from this unit. Behind me is this laundry area, which is a very decent sized space. So it's sheltered as well, so you can do your laundry even when it's raining. Thank you for staying with us till the end of this home tour. If you are interested and if you like what you see today, feel free to reach out to any of us and we'll be happy to show you the place. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye! Bye.